Hey YouTube, it's the Test Lead, and today's video is the three best programming languages to learn as an automation engineer. When you are first starting out on your journey to become an automation engineer, automation tester, whichever buzzword you want to use, you may be overwhelmed by all the different programming languages to learn. This video will talk about the three best programming languages to learn for your journey. When you are first starting out on your automation engineer journey, you may be overwhelmed by all different programming languages, C++, C Sharp, Python, Java, JavaScript, so you're just overwhelmed and confused. Relax, I'm going to give you the three best programming languages to learn to jumpstart your career. First off, all three of these languages are object-oriented programming languages. There are many benefits to learning these type of programming languages. First, they let you break the program into bit-sized problems that can be solved easily and better quality of software with less maintenance cost. You do not have to learn all three at one time. Honestly, just focus on one, become really good at it, and then whatever job you have or you go to, you can learn the other ones easily by Googling the syntax, but just focus on learning one really good. Because no matter if it's one, two, or three on my list, they all have the same high level concepts. For example, I've been on many job interviews in my lifetime. Every coding job interview asks, to solve a problem in whatever programming language that you like. So the language that you choose or you're best at, do it in that language. No matter what that job uses for their actual coding, they know if you have the high level concepts down, you can translate it to their coding easily. So let's say you solve everything in Java, but they use C Sharp, it's the same concepts. So any little syntax differences, you can just Google that on the job. And they understand that. That's why I say pick any language you want, because they want to see how you think. Next up, the frameworks. Frameworks are what you use to actually create the automated scripts. As part of our grading system for our first one, two, and three programming languages, we'll include the frameworks that we suggest to use with it. Also, we will discuss the learning curve for each programming language. First on our list is Python. Python is by far one of the easiest programming languages to learn. A lot of the coding for Python looks like a simple English sentence. Python is also an interpreted language, meaning there's no compilation step leading to faster development cycles. The programming language Python also has a lot of standard libraries as well as third party libraries, which gives you limitless possibilities for your coding. Once you dive into Python, you understand what libraries are, but for right now, just know that's very helpful. In short, just realize that libraries and the more access you have to them give you extra functionality for your programming. Python is used by many startup companies for several reasons, including its ability to adapt, its versatility, as well as just its regular popularity as it's booming right now. However, because nothing's perfect, many older companies that are brick and mortar have all their code written in one of the other two languages. So sometimes for some of the more traditional jobs, they may not use Python. And you may be thinking, well, Python has all these benefits, why don't they switch to it? Usually they have a lot of legacy or old code already written in the other languages. So to take the time to read through all that old code, transfer it to the new language, is very time consuming and costly. So they figure, let's just find a developer that already knows this language so we can just add new stuff instead of rewriting all the old stuff. The frameworks that you use for automation for Python include Robot, PyTest, and Selenium. For the learning curve and ease of learning, I'm giving this a nine out of 10. For the ease of finding a job, just because certain old brick and mortar jobs might not look for this, I'm going to give this a seven and a half out of 10. Next on our list is Java. Java is one of the most popular programming languages because of all the testing frameworks they can use with it. Some include Selenium, TestNG, Serenity, JUnit, and Maquito. Java is cheap and economical. It can run on any machine regardless of the system hardware. This will help reduce the development cost. Java also follows the write once, run anywhere method where you can write something on a Mac operating system and run it on a Windows operating system, which is kind of very unique for a programming language. Java also offers automatic garbage collection, which in short means it helps to manage memory. For any object that doesn't get used or referenced in your Java code, it will automatically be cleaned up by the program itself. That's in short what garbage collection is so you don't have many memory leaks and stuff like that. 
and allows more efficient code. This will help you a lot because that's the one less thing to worry about and it's less lines that you have to write of code for cleaning things up. Java also supports multi-threading, which is a whole other topic for a different day. But in short, multi-threading allows you to increase the efficiency and performance of your application. And as always, because nothing is perfect, one of the cons of Java is it's very memory intensive. A lot of memory has to be allocated to run our programs. Also, some of the syntax in Java is overly complicated. Syntax meaning the words we use to write the code compared to other programming languages. So the best three frameworks to use for Java include Selenium, JUnit, and TestNG. For the learning curve, I gave it a seven out of 10. And for the ease of finding a job using Java, it's eight and a half out of 10. Last but not least, is the programming language C Sharp. C Sharp was made by the company Microsoft, which everybody knows, which is another reason why C Sharp is so popular. Any Microsoft applications run on C Sharp. This programming language uses .NET Framework, which is efficient for writing and processing test scripts and automated tests. C Sharp is also a statically typed language, making it easy to understand and find errors when problems occur. C Sharp code is type safe, meaning it can only access the memory location of your object. This is very important for security reasons. Interpretability allows C Sharp code to interact with code of other different languages. This helps allow for easier code reusability as well as more efficiency in your overall code. One complaint, because nothing's perfect, is C Sharp is very slow to load. Any change you make must recompile the whole program which is very time consuming sometimes. The frameworks for this include Selenium, NUnit, and MS Test. The easiness to learn learning curve is an eight out of 10, where it's not as hard as Java, but not as easy as Python. And the ease of finding of a job is an eight out of 10. Now let's wrap it up. If you're just getting started in your automation journey, or you're trying to transition into it, one of the three languages I spoke about is definitely the way to go. Knowing any one of them along with the tools and frameworks for it, is all you'll need. No matter what job you're applying for, if they're using a different language, different frameworks, if you can properly show you know how to understand the concepts of other programming languages, as well as the tools for it, you'll be okay with transitioning to a new one. So I know it might be overwhelming hearing all these different programming languages. So instead of trying to learn a little bit of all of them, try to learn one really well, because they all have the same high level concepts. So once you learn one, you can transition those concepts to the other languages as well down the road. But right now, first starting out, Python, C Sharp, Java, those are the ways to go. If you found this video helpful at all, please like, share, and subscribe. If you want another video just like this, please take care. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave them below. And hey, don't forget to learn something new today.